Fuck you, Glenn! Hey guys, I'm Leo Ryan for the Guitar Maniac, and this is sort of video response to Glenn Flicker. For those of you who don't know, this is a sound engineer from Canada who has his own YouTube channel, and I really like his show, especially the part where he tests different music equipment. And to be perfectly honest, the world needs more of these uh, unbiased, non-sponsored uh, tests. Every time Glenn tried out Line 6 products, he was slightly disappointed even with the wireless system. And I totally get his point. Life is too short for using the shitty gear, and you can get better results with the same amount of money you probably spend on Line 6 products. And as long time Line 6 user, I can say he is totally right. To be perfectly honest, I like some of innovative ideas of Line 6, and I stopped using their products after I wasn't satisfied with the results that I've got. I decided to make a couple of videos based on my experience with Line 6, those might be useful for Line 6 owners who want to know how to deal with their products. And those might be useful for the manufacturers as well, if they want to avoid some of the design flaws. And so, let's get right to it. First of all, I would like to talk about the concept that I was looking for. I liked the idea that I could finally get rid of the tubes. You see, I grew up in a family of electronic engineers and I had my personal issues with the tubes. Vacuum tube was the first successful semiconductor, and back in the days it was a breakthrough in technology, which allowed to build radios, TV sets, tape recorders and LP players. And naturally, when it came to amplification of electric guitar, they used tubes as well, because it was the only semiconductor available at the time. In 1950s a transistor was introduced. A solid state semiconductor had a couple of advantages. First of all, it was compact. Second, it was less fragile as a tube. A third, it didn't have uh, these heat issues as a tube. A fourth, you don't have to use high voltage. And fifth, you can combine a thousands of transistors in one single microchip. And so, over the years, the solid state technology replaced tubes everywhere, making devices more transportable. But this wasn't the case with electric guitar amplification. Every time I was told I have to get a tube amplifier because it sounds better, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? You see, I spent the whole childhood fixing the tape recorders. Some were made back in the 60s and they had tubes in it, and some were made in the 80s and they were solid state. I noticed that the ones that were made in the 80s were better because technology improved over the years. But I have never seen the tape recorder made in the 80s who had tubes in it because of the idea that tubes sound better. And so, why did everybody insist on using the tubes? I found the answer in the history of electric guitar. There was no master plan to create a new unique sound, the whole idea was just to make guitar loud. Guitar players started to crank up the volume of their amps, pushing the tubes to their limits. As a the result they got compression, clipping and a couple of new harmonics. Technically speaking, this is a distortion. But for the guitar players this was a new, unique sound. This wasn't the pure amplification anymore, this was a signal processing. What about solid state? Well, it doesn't quite work this way. You can't just throw away the tube and replace it with a transistor. This doesn't work this way. The keyword is signal processing. This whole time I was looking for a company who would actually put time into research and figure out how the electric guitar signal is being processed and would recreate the same signal without tubes. The electronic engineers and people with a doctor degree in physics say that this is possible. So why this wasn't made before? Well, this kind of research costs money and maybe you have to fail in a couple of prototypes until you figure out how to deal with the signal flow. And I think that nobody wanted to take a risk until Line 6 actually made a commercial success with their amps. Well, this isn't quite solid state, they use digital technology, but the point is they tried to get rid of the tubes. And even though they didn't bring up a single good sound and amp on the market, they had a commercial success. And this kind of challenged everybody else to make their own research. 
And that's why I can't really be mad on line 6. I am conservative at some point. I like my guitars made of wood. Of course you can make them of metal or plastic and probably they would sound ok, but this doesn't seem to be right. You can probably come up with something like laser scanner which would scan the vibration of the string, but I would still prefer the magnetic pickup instead. As for guitar sound, for me it's all about signal processing. I was hoping that Line 6 would come up with some small device that would sound good and is easy to use, but they kept disappointing me. They have really nice concept, but kind of bad results with it. In my next episode I will talk about the concept that I liked about the pod devices. In the meantime, have a nice day and keep on rocking. And fuck you Glenn.